Hey y'all, welcome back to the bathroom. Uh, back to work tomorrow, so I'm gonna have a head shave. And uh, what are we using today? Well, today I'm gonna be using the Headblade ATX four blade cartridge, head slick. And uh, I have decided to continue using the Crown King shave scuttle and I am whipping up a nice lather with the head blade. I saw Christopher David Bailey do this. Um, he was shocked that it lathered like this and so was I, but I figured, hey, I wanna get my money's worth out of this really cool scuttle and uh, this is a good way to do it. I can't believe, look at that. I can't believe that head slick lathers like that. It's ridiculous. Um, Cause if you've ever used it or seen it, it is essentially like a hybrid between a shave cream and kind of one of those non lathering kind of uh, shave gels or whatever. I don't know what to call it, but uh, it soaps and lathers really nicely. Uh, it's still warm. Um, the Crown King Skull kept the water inside warm enough to give me a nice warm lather for my face shave and surprisingly enough it's still pretty warm for this head shave here. So uh, good job uh, Douglas sourcing out that scuttle. Um, it's been probably 20 maybe 30 minutes and the water is still nice and warm. The lather is warm. So super cool. So this is my first time using the Headblade uh, ATX. Let's see if I do this correctly. So from what I understand you just use it like a regular shaver. The blade follows like a regular shaver, like a regular razor. So the blade, the blade follows, so apparently there's supposed to be a little bit less chance of uh, cutting your head, a little bit less learning curve than on the old models. Because on the old models you had to really focus on not getting any pressure on the blade because the blade was mounted backwards and so you pushed the blade instead of dragging it. And I gotta say, this is definitely much more intuitive. And it seems like it's doing a great job. Very uh, comfortable. So, definitely a good redesign by the guys over at Headblad, I have to say. And I think this model is several years old. But this is my first go with it. And I gotta say, it is a vast improvement over the other two models I have used. I do feel it skipping just a tad on the back of my head where, you know, everybody's got kind of that little bump, hump in the back of the head. When you're a little overweight like myself, it is a little more pronounced. I like to call it my pack of hot dogs. If you kind of do that, you get some fat rolls. So, a buddy of mine made fun of me about that years ago when I first started shaving my head, so it kind of stuck with me. So I always joke around about my pack of hot dogs back there. Anyway, that's probably more than you ever need to know about me. Things are good in my world. Um, like I said, if you watched my other video, I'm finishing up a couple of days off. Back to work tomorrow. I'm trying out some new shave stuff, man. It's good. Life is good. I can't complain. 
Now I will say, kind of pulling it off your finger and using it to uh, do touch up around the ear, much nicer with this model, the way it's designed. I feel like I'm less likely to cut myself in those hard to reach areas. What else, what else? I'll make sure I put this thing on right. Since it's backwards from what I'm used to. Uh, cleaned out my shaved end today. Found actually a few things that I forgot I had. So it really is like just, even if I hadn't started buying stuff again, if I had just cleaned that thing out, I'd have a ton of new stuff to use. Uh, content for videos, right? What else? That's really about it. I was thinking about something, because, you know, we all kind of, I think, spend some time in the forums and on the Facebook and the YouTubes, just checking out different stuff. And uh, I was curious, is there a YouTube channel or a web page or anything like that that kind of does a weekly summary Kind of you know of the uh, this week in wet shaving kind of thing um, you know that way it could be your one-stop shop to check out you know new reviews and it would be just like a a web page or a youtube you know if there's not something like that already it might be kind of cool for somebody to do that just make a web page or a blog or a YouTube channel and just be like a link site to videos of reviews and press releases for new scents and razors and whatnot. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think about that? If Is there one out there? Do you guys know of one? If so, let me know so I can go check it out. If not, maybe. That might be something worth kind of considering starting. I don't know. For someone who's got time on their hands. All right. I don't know. Just something I was kicking around. Um, that way, you know, some people who are busy or don't have a lot of time to spend sitting in front of the computer looking and seeing and checking for new whatever. Although I imagine Facebook or Instagram or all the other social media sites, probably pretty easy to get notified of new stuff. I know, uh, you know, Douglas, whenever he's got something new coming out from PAA, he hits all the, all the groups he's a part of and posts videos and whatnot. So maybe it's not needed. I don't know. All right, so second pass. I gotta say, I really, I really, uh, I really dig this ATX. It's just so much more intuitive and user friendly. See? See what I did there? Backwards, like the old ones. It wouldn't, nothing was cutting. Derp. Anyway. Second pass is good. Speaking of uh, what's new in the world of wet shaving, have you guys seen the new gold dollars that are out? I think Anthony Esposito posted a video, kind of review of the new models that are available. And I think Mr. Uh, Mr. Jason Grizzle was lucky enough to already come across one. Very nice looking razors. Um, I'm sure he will post updates about how well they work or don't work and, you know. If you're a uh, 
I don't know what the cost is on them, but if you're someone who's looking to get into straight shaving or you just want another straight, that may be an interesting way to go. Um, so, yeah. Just some little clean up here. Beautiful. And uh, that's the head shave. Oops, soap in the eye. Um, head blade ATX. Uh, so far, that's my new favorite uh, head blade. Uh, next time I shave, I'll, I'll give the Moto a go and see what that's like. But so far, this guy's really nice. If you're a head shaver and you don't have one, I would suggest giving it a shot. They're relatively inexpensive. 15 bucks at the local pharmacy. Uh, or you can order them online. They're 15 bucks. And there you go. Um, I am done. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a good week. Good weekend right around the corner. Good shaves. Good time with your friends and family. Good night. God bless.